Space, the Great Abyss We've all seen astronaut movies. Most of us have even wondered what it would be like to go up there ourselves. Let's talk about the effects on the human body after a few days in space. Do your muscles disappear? Are you more vulnerable to sickness? We are talking all that and more. Let's begin. Number 1. Muscle Atrophy Floating around in a weightless environment reduces the purpose of muscle. Everyday tasks that require physical strength become almost effortless. From brushing your teeth to moving around place to place, this is how astronauts develop something called muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy describes a condition in which the body's muscle wastes away. On Earth, humans develop muscle atrophy by avoiding physical activity over an extended period of time. But for the astronauts, this can occur much sooner. Studies have shown that an astronaut can experience 20% loss in muscle mass within the first 11 days of space travel. This is why they're advised to engage in an intense exercise regimen while following an adequate meal plan. But how do astronauts exercise if there's no weight in space to challenge them? Well, the International Space Station is currently equipped with three machines designed to give them a full-body workout. These machines are the bicycle, treadmill, and a special weightlifting machine known as ARED, the Advanced Resistive Exercise Device. The ARED machine is obviously not your ordinary weightlift contraption. Regular weights wouldn't hold much resistance considering they don't weigh anything. Instead, the machine carries two canisters which act as vacuums. The astronaut will pull against them with the long bar. For the treadmill, astronauts will need to be strapped in with a harness, otherwise they'll float away. Since you won't be able to sit down, the stationary bike has no seat. The occupant stands with their back against a pad. Astronauts are encouraged to exercise six days a week for two and a half hours each day. This will counteract the effects of losing muscle mass. Number 2. Bad Spinal Muscles On the off chance that you end up on a space mission one day, don't freak out if you experience back pain. This is commonplace for astronauts both in orbit and returning to Earth. Extensive space travel causes your spinal muscles to shrink. In microgravity, your spine begins to weaken and experience atrophy. As a result, your paraspinal muscles decide to reduce and shrink in density. Paraspinal muscles help the movement of your spine and posture. When affected, changes to your spinal structure can last anywhere up to four years after returning to Earth. There's a study from 2019 that focused on 17 astronauts who had all been to space an average of six months. Examiners found significant changes in the paraspinal muscles. For one, individual muscles had reduced up to 8.8%. There was also an increase in fatty tissue around these muscles. Some of the changes in muscles varied among astronauts. For many, the state of their spinal muscles were related to the amount of exercise they were doing. Some just weren't spending enough time strapped into the treadmill. By the end of the study, researchers concluded that one of the ways to prevent loss of the paraspinal muscles was more exercise. Let's talk about another scary change astronauts experience. Number 3. Bone Loss Were you aware that over 10 million people in the US suffer from osteoporosis? This is a disease that occurs when your body loses too much of its bone. Over time, they can become weak and break apart. Even after a sneeze or a cough, don't believe me? Just ask the 1.5 million Canadians who suffer from this disease. And this is on Earth! Imagine what happens to your bones in a completely weightless environment. Space travel can result in bone loss. In microgravity, astronauts can lose up to 2% of their bone mineral each month. If you're in space for only a short duration, bone loss isn't a huge deal. But for those taking long-duration space flights, it can be a real problem. This has become known as spaceflight osteopenia. Due to the lack of resistance on your body, bone loss won't affect you as much in space. But upon returning to Earth, the weakened state of your body may cause the bones to fracture. This bone loss normally occurs in the lower region of your body, particularly your leg bones and lumbar vertebrae. Exercise also serves as a countermeasure to slow the progress of bone loss, but it's said not to fix the problem entirely. Are you finding this list interesting so far? All right, let's keep going. But before we continue, are you interested in further information on space? Check out our video discussing what would happen to your body in space without a spacesuit. Now, let's get back to our list of what happens to your body after a year in space. Number 4. 
fluid shift. While floating around in space, your fluids will move to another part of your body. This is what happens when there's no gravity around to pull the fluids downward. The fluids will elevate and collect in your head and chest area. This can negatively affect your circulatory system as well as your vision. Lots of research is being done to figure out the long-term effect of fluid shift in space. NASA is currently conducting the fluid shift investigation as a way to examine the process during a one-year space mission. This is done in preparation for future space endeavors such as a possible mission to Mars. The study is tricky as astronauts respond differently to fluid shifts. With that being said, more than half of American astronauts experience some degree of vision loss. This type of fluid shift may cause pressure on the brain, pushing back on the eye and causing it to change shape. This impact on the eye may not last long if the space mission is only for a short period. By the way, international space shuttle expeditions last up to six months. Space shuttle missions can be anywhere in the ballpark of two to 18 days. A survey done by NASA focused on 300 male and female astronauts. Of the short flight travelers interviewed, 23% reported having issues with their vision. Number five, radiation. Being outside of the Earth's atmosphere is certainly no funny business. In space, you're exposed to three types of radiation, galactic cosmic rays, sun particles from solar flares, and particles from the Earth's magnetic field. This can infiltrate human skin, taking a serious toll on the body. Concerns over the radiation's long-term effects range anywhere from cataracts to sterility to even cancer. On Earth, we are protected by the atmosphere and magnetic field. In outer space, the absence of these factors leaves us vulnerable to radiation's effects. Some of these effects are said to skip a generation, as they're passed on by mutated genes. As a result, an astronaut's grandchild may experience the aftermath. Number 6. Changes to the Immune System Space travel can really have a go at your immune system. This is due to the environmental changes your body goes through being in space, so it's not uncommon for astronauts to feel ill during their space mission. Your immune system is designed to protect your body from illness. Things like radiation and overall stress can attack and overwhelm it. From here, your immune system will not be acting the way it usually does when an outside threat is upon it. In 2014, NASA conducted a study on crew members of the International Space Station. The results showed that their immune system was not working against cells that cause viruses. Instead, astronauts were actually showing signs of illnesses they hadn't seen since childhood. Further research is needed to see how the decline on a human's immune system can influence potential space missions to other planets. Number 7. Hurts the Microbiome You know that bacteria within us that helps to clean your gut and works to improve your overall health? This is known as the microbiome. Plenty of research has been conducted to figure out how exactly this bacteria reacts during spaceflight. In 2014, NASA studied the health of astronaut Scott Kelly during his 342-day tenure in the International Space Station. At the same time, they also monitored his twin brother on Earth. The study showed significant changes to his microbiome. These effects returned to normal when he came back to Earth. The same test was conducted on mice when the animals were brought up to the space station. The results were similar to that of humans. Their gut bacteria had increased. Does space travel interest you? Should we do more videos on that subject? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Curiosity. Wait, why not fulfill your curiosity by watching these other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or the right video and enjoy.